Hi, I'm Bill Fritchie, Vice President of Harris County Water Improvement and Control District 99. Welcome to our open house. We're asking the residents of our district to approve a capital improvement bond to repair and replace equipment as needed over the next 20 years. A tax bond is the most cost-effective form of funding the capital equipment expense. The directors and our consultants are in agreement that the wastewater treatment plant must be repaired or replaced now. This is the driving force for requesting the capital improvement bond. We know that you have concerns and questions. It's our desire to address your concerns and questions tonight. We encourage you to visit each information station, present your questions to our consultants and directors, then please have refreshments and share your thoughts on the bond election with your neighbors. Hi, I'm Andy Johnson, attorney for District 99. I've represented this district and others similar to it for many years. This district has a unique opportunity to solve some pending issues regarding water and sewer infrastructure. A similar district I represented several years ago faced a $6 million immediate repair bill and they didn't have the money to make those repairs without raising taxes and water bills well beyond people's ability to pay. To solve this problem, they brought in a commercial partner who shared the burden. Our District 99 has a similar opportunity through the Dream Labs commercial development, as well as by making permanent our long-term partner, Spring ISD. Without this bond passing, the commercial opportunities will fail and we will lose our opportunity. This means instead of having a low cost line of credit to borrow from as we need it through incremental bond sales, we'll instead have to pay as we go and the result will be skyrocketing water bills. We are a long standing water district that is aging. Much like our cars require updates, modifications, repairs and major overhauls, our water and sewer infrastructure requires the same. If we don't do it now, we will have to put off repairs and replacement as long as we can, but it changes the payment profile. As you tour tonight's open house, you'll see photos and video of all the facilities that need immediate repairs and some that even need replacement. But we are planning for the future, so you will also see the complete long-term plan to maintain our safe and high quality water and sewer treatment facilities for the district. Thank you. My name is Sergio Van Dusen. I'm with Vote Engineering and I am your district engineer. In the fall of 2018, Vote Engineering completed an assessment of the district facility. The objective of the assessment was to identify long-term maintenance burdens to empower the directors to make funding decisions. Conducting the assessment, we identified and ranked priority of all the district components. Because of the failing handrail, failing walkways and rusted out chambers in the wastewater treatment plant pose life safety issues and because failure of the partition walls would result in bypassing of treatment, we identified the wastewater treatment plant as a top priority. Because the wastewater treatment plant, whether repaired or replaced, is a lengthy process, we identified it as an urgent project. Other components of the system were also identified and later added to the capital assessment projections. The directors are asking for a bond of $16 million, which will be spent over the next 20 years. The tax bond should be viewed as a line of credit that can be used as needed for capital projects. We've prepared a schedule detailing the capital projects and their cost over the next 20 years as well. Please take one of these home with you. If at the end of your visit, you still have unanswered questions or concerns, please contact me. Thank you again for coming to our open house.